Hello and welcome to today's special edition of War Stories. Today we are looking at the Battle of the Somme and how it affected people. Let's find out more about their stories. As a soldier, do you think you wasted your time joining the army? No, I fought for my country's freedom, but I should have looked after my younger brother Paul better. He was shot by a German sniper. I can't wait to go out there and shoot some Germans. Don't be getting over your head, brother. This is war. Nothing is fun here. We might not make it out alive. But it's so exciting. After all these months of training, we finally get to go out there and use our weapons. Don't you see? The Germans have a lot more weapons and a whole lot more soldiers. I can't wait to get home and tell Mother all about what happened in the battle. I'll make sure we get home. If you could speak to someone a hundred years time, what would you say? I hope we're remembered for the sacrifices made during the war and for our fallen brothers. As a nurse, did you get upset when someone passed away? Of course I got upset. It was something very hard. My husband died. Honestly, we need to get him a bed. We need to get all his wings patched up. I'll help Elizabeth get the bandages. It's okay, calm down. We'll patch you up. I can't calm down. My best friend Zach, he's over there. He's wounded. He needs help. Can you tell me anything about him? He's in the 36th Division. Wait, what did he just say? Division 36. Do you know my husband Zach? He's a good man. He's my best friend. He's, he's always talking about you. But now... No, don't die. You need to tell me more answers, please. What did he just say? Come on, Ellie. Come on, Ellie. If you could speak to someone hundred years time, what would you say? I hope that women aren't forgotten because women and men played the same role. The stuff we had to go through was terrible. As an officer, do you think you could have done anything better to improve your army? Well, what we had was what we had. More time and money would have been much better for everybody. But there were a lot of casualties in the war. That I feel responsible for, and personally, for all of them. You must make sure your men push back the enemy lines and infiltrate the defences. Okay, Sergeant Barrett? Yes, understood. Our boys will be battle ready. The Germans won't know what will hit them, sir. And good evening, Sergeant. God help us. God help us. If you could speak to someone a hundred years time, what would you say? I would tell them that I hope that the generals aren't remembered in history as villains since we made some terrible, terrible sacrifices and some very difficult decisions. As someone affected by the war, did you find it upsetting when you found out your relative died? Of course. I was heartbroken and angry. My brother had been torn away from the family because of the war, and he died. My mother soon followed because of a broken heart. I was back. Mother, I find this letter. Read it to me. Dear Mother and Eleanor, 
the most awful thing has happened. While I on the battlefield, we all died. Well, Abby was. I'm fine, but I'm missing home. Right now we blanked out. I hope I see you soon, Sean. Don't worry, Mother. I I'll take care of us now. I'll take care of both of us now. If you could speak to someone a hundred years time, what would you say? I may not be remembered personally, but I hope that nobody forgets the patience and the hope and the suffering of the families as they receive the telegrams of their fallen family members. I hope my later family looks back upon their losses and are proud of the sacrifices made. It was great to hear some of the personal perspectives of the Battle of the Somme and how it affected them. Sacrifice. Lost families. Difficult decisions. Horror. Pride. Destruction and heartbreak. What do you think?